Today we're talking about health and inflammation. You're welcome. Before I get into today's topic about my health journey over the last several years, um, I wanted to mention, after I did the video yesterday about my goals with learning Norwegian and how they fit into the levels of the mass immersion approach, I finally went through and kind of took notes on the new structure of the levels for mass immersion approach, and now that's all out the window. So <laughs> my approach is a little bit different now, but that's okay. I'll talk about that some other time. It's I've talked about it enough. But today what I want to talk about is the kind of journey I've been on over the last few years with my health and with the joint inflammation I had before. Now, I talked extensively about that 12 year journey with joint inflammation and pain in another video three years ago. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a card up here. <laughs> I'll put a card up here and you can check that out. Uh, a lot of information there about what has been going on. But today I'm going to start by going back to right after I recorded that video, um, which was at the end of 2017. 2017 is the year I rediscovered my health. Uh, because of all the pain I was going through. And so by the end of 2017, I had really come full circle. I had got rid of most of my joint inflammation uh, through healthy eating and a uh, better lifestyle. I lost like 80 pounds, <laughs> amazingly. Um, I've gained some of that back, obviously you can tell. But yeah, I was in a really good place come my 48th birthday in January of 2018. Um, but I started falling a little bit off the wagon. I got a really stressful job at that time. And it was in Waikiki and I was working and living in Waikiki and there's a lot of really good places to eat in Waikiki. So I went off the wagon, not like all at once. I didn't like go crazy binging on things, but I did uh, start to pay a little less attention to eating healthy. I would sprinkle in some unhealthy options with what I was eating. Um, and it wasn't bad at first. I could feel a little bit of inflammation coming on and due to the stress of my job, I started getting some uh, wrist gout and some other things that were uh, painful. By the second half of 2018, I had left that job and I had started another job, which was way less stressful, much more enjoyable, but it was also in a place where I didn't have as much access to healthy food. I was still eating pretty healthy. I was still trying to maintain my same nutritional habits, but I think it was the Christmas season of 2018 when I really just uh, did not do well. Up till that point, I had been working freelance, so I'd just been working for myself. It was very easy to eat healthy at home. But at that point, I was in an office, lots of Christmas foods, lots of Christmas treats. It was challenging over the holidays, so I really went off the rails there. And I started getting more weight into 2019, started feeling a lot worse. Um, tired and unhealthy, some of those habits resurfaced. And then uh, 2019, the, the place I was working at had some budget cuts and so they had to let people go. I was one of them. About halfway through 2019 last year, I was out of work for a while. I tried to do some freelance, but I was mostly out of work. And I had used that opportunity to go back to school really full time. I also, there was a death in the family last year. My stepfather passed away. It was very challenging. I had to go back to the mainland for about a month to deal with that. A lot of other things happening that were kind of stressful. So all in all, that, that combined with unhealthy eating habits just accentuated. And so last summer, I had a pretty bad uh, knee joint uh, inflammation during my trip. I had some back issues, knee issues, and they went away from time to time. I would go back to a bout of healthy eating for a few weeks, but then I would just sort of fall off the wagon again. And it started to slowly improve over the summer, but then in the fall, I took eight classes in one semester, which was really intense. Eight classes in a semester. I was taking 20 credits um, because I wanted to graduate as soon as possible. Since I wasn't working at the time, I knew I could just go full bore on school. And I managed to get a 4.0 that semester, so I did okay, even though I started a job halfway through the semester. I started a full-time job while taking eight classes, commuting back and forth, different sides of the island. I don't know what I was thinking, but that stress combined with the lack of sleep, combined with poor eating habits, all of that combined to really just push things over the edge. And ironically, this spring, when the work at home order started, that was actually really good timing for me because that's around the time that I started to get really bad joint inflammation again, just like I did back in the day. I had uh, ballooned up a bit. My weight wasn't as bad as it was back in 2017, but it was uh, edging up closer. So I'd gained about half of the weight back 
But the fortunate thing about this situation was that I was at home, I could rest in bed, I could get a lot more sleep, I could not worry about going into the office, I could have meetings from bed, which was great. And I had health insurance, which was wonderful, so I could go to the doctor and get medication if I needed it and do a lot of the things that helped promote a healthier habit. Over the course of the summer so far, I've been dealing with this joint issues like I showed you um, the other day with my finger, the gout are coming up, now it's fine. Uh, I was, I've been having, ever since uh, May sometime, I've been having these joint issues and it's getting better now. I think the, making sure I sleep at least eight hours a night this past week has helped a lot. I've started eating a lot more consistently, salads especially, and I'm doing a few other things related to my health and my nutrition and my eating habits, especially in the last couple of weeks that have helped. But tomorrow, I'm actually gonna show you what I've been eating in a typical day. And so you can see exactly what sort of foods are going into my system. But right now, here I am. I'm almost in the exact same place I was three years ago, 2017, um, as far as weight and inflammation goes, because this was about halfway through my weight loss from three years ago and about halfway through my recovery three years ago. So a lot of what happens from this point forward will determine how I'm going to be in the fall and in the winter. So then the question is, what happens now? What am I going to do? I talked in another video, which I'll link to up in the card, about my four components of health. And in order of importance, they are uh, stress, sleep, nutrition, and exercise. And I talk a lot more about it in that video, so you can check that out. But stress is really about being proactive and saying no to things that don't contribute to your emotional and mental well-being. My focus is really going to try to narrow in on just what essentials I need in my life to be happy, happy and healthy and keep my stress down to a bare minimum. So that means taking care of the obligations I have and making sure not to take on new obligations until I know that they can be a priority for me. The second aspect is sleep. And we've talked about this before. I've talked about this before, you've listened to this before, about how I've been trying to get a little more sleep and be consistent. Overall, it's been really good. I've been um, very happy with the increased amount of sleep I've been getting recently. Nutrition is the third component, and I'm gonna talk again about this a little more tomorrow, what I'm doing, but at the end of the day, the emphasis is on just nutritional density, getting as much good, healthy nutrition as you can to detoxify your system and to make sure that you are giving your body what it needs to fight off whatever bad things you might be putting in your system. So I'll talk about that a little more tomorrow. And finally, exercise. And this for me is a lot about mobility and flexibility and movement and getting out there and moving around. I've actually been outside today more than I've been outside in a long time. We had to rescue a frog that fell down a drain. Um, I was out with the cat for a little while doing some language practice. So I wasn't doing language practice with the cat. The cat was outside while I was doing that. You knew that, I don't need to explain. Uh, a lot of it's about just being more mobile, being more active, getting outside, uh, walking a lot more. And that's challenging when you have joint pain and you have back pain and issues like that. But I think it's about just starting small and building the habit, where as I get more mobile and as I get healthier, I can improve and increase the quality of my movement. So that's the gist of it. I'm basically in a recovery phase right now of trying to get my health back after a few years of falling off the wagon and jumping back on the wagon and falling off the wagon again and just being really good at jumping on and off wagons. So like I said, tomorrow it'll be about uh, what I eat in a given day and how I'm approaching nutrition. That's it for today. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section below. I'm happy to answer them. Boy, it's getting windy. Welcome to Hawaii. <laughs> uh, it's really windy out here. I really hope you can hear me okay. I might have to record this whole thing over. I have this little wind guard on the mic. We'll see if it works. Thank you so much for listening. Take care of yourselves. Be happy, be good, be safe. Stay home, wash your hands, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All the Buddha.